friends, Beth with Thimble Hooks, back with version number four of my corner to corner or C to C in crochet. This one I call lacy because you can see it is very open weave right in here. Our chain spaces are huge and this would make a really nice little summer shawl or a summer throw, summer <clears throat> or a summertime afghan where you don't really need to have it be as dense as some of the others. So you can see this is the same amount of same amount of rows, five squares. There's the classic or the traditional. See this one just ends up being bigger. This is still a five by five, but it's so much bigger and has so much more open space. So we'll show you how that one works. I love this one. This is just great. And again, this is something that I usually use with solid color on. Alright, so we're going to start this one. I have again my Karen Simply Soft. I don't remember what color this is. Turquoise? I think this is turquoise. So if you're familiar with C to C, the only difference at all with any of these versions is just how many chains you're using. So we're going to start out with a slip stitch and my Karen Simply Soft I have today and the corresponding hook. This is a five millimeter. So we're going to start out with, and this is a chain of eight. One, two, three. Let's mark off those first three four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we want to do a double crochet in the first three, one in each. One, and two, and three. Oopsie. And there's our first square. It's got to be a very large chain space right here. So for the next one, again we're going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And in these first three, we want to do a double crochet. Again, we're having a really big chain space here. That's what gives it its lacy look. want to take this and flip this one up and make sure that your chain space is at the top and right here in the, the stitch that's next to the chain space, not through the chain space, but the stitch that's right next to it, slip stitch, slip stitch. So I call this with an, it's an 8-5. The classic is a 6-3. This is a 6-3. This is a 5-2. 6-3, a 5-2. That helps. This is an 8-4. I'm sorry, this is an 8-5. So now we're going to do five chains. And in our gigantic chain space right here, three double crochets. Very open and airy. With these, our chain spaces are five, so they leave a lot of open space. So here on the side again, we're going to increase one more time. So we chain eight. Oops, one more. And double crochet into the first three. One double crochet into each one of those first three. In here you want to flip this on up. You're going to see your big chain spaces right next to that chain. Slip stitch. Chain five. And three double crochet. Into your chain five space. Mm 
and again over here. Stitch that's right next to your chain, slip stitch, chain five, and three double crochets into the chain five space. There's our third row. So they're very, very big right in here, as opposed to the classic. So it just makes it nice and breezy. So let's try that one more time. Chain eight. And double crochet into the first three chains from your chain eight. So there's the where the eight comes from in an eight five. There we go. Flip this up so you've got your stairs here and your double crochet or your your chain five spaces. And you want to go into the stitch right next to the chains five space, not through the chain five space, and chain five, three double crochets into the chain five space. Now you can see this one works up really fast with all of the chaining and all of the openness. You want to make a big fluffy, breezy, lacy afghan. You can have it done pretty quickly just because of all the open space that there is. So right over here, we're going to slip stitch into the stitch that's next to our chain five space. Two, three, four, and five chains. And three double crochet into our chain five. Again, here's our chain five space. So we want to go into this stitch right here for our slip stitching. Chain five, and one, two, and three. See, open and breezy and lacy. I just like this one. It's just lacy. And I'll show you how I'm going to change colors here. I prefer when I'm doing what I consider the lacy one to not do any kind of a graph gan look where you're changing in the middle of a row. Always give a whole row to its own color. So what I do is instead of completely finishing this stitch, this very last stitch here, take off this part and we're going to what do I have? Baby, sun baby sunshine. I'm going to just change out to a yellow here. I like this baby yellow. It's really cute. We have a nice long chain or a nice long tail so that you can weave it in later and just finish that stitch. Now we chain our eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. and double crochet one in each of the first three. And you flip your work so you've got your chain five spaces right there. We want to slip stitch into the stitch that's right next to the chain, not through the chain. Chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Two and three double crochets in that chain five space and do the same thing again. Slip stitch, chain five, and three 
three double crochets in our chain five space. Same thing again. It's all repetition. Almost every stitch is exactly the same. Works up fast. You can sit and watch a movie and knock out a whole bunch of scrolls, a whole bunch of rows. Alright, now we're going to turn the corner. So this is how you'd finish this one off. There's our chain five space. We're going to slip stitch and spin our work. Now in the top of each one of these three double crochets that we just did, we want to do a slip stitch. Slip number one, slip number two, and slip number three. Now we're lined up with our chain five space so we can make the next square. One, two, three, four, five chains, three double crochets in each five chain space, just like we were doing before. So there's our chain five space, the stitch next to it needs a slip stitch. and three double crochets into the chain five space. And again, right here. Two, three, four, five. And three double crochets into our chain five space. You see how easy it is to find the chain five space. You never have to worry about that one with my lacy look. And here's our last one. So in this stitch right here, slip stitch, spin our work, and one slip stitch in the top of each of the three double crochets that we just made. One, and slip stitch two, and slip stitch three. And we're lined up with our chain five space so we can make the next square. One, two, three, four, five. Three double crochets in that chain five space. And do that again. And that was the last one for this row. We're up to our five, chain five space. So right next to it, slip stitch, spin our work, slip stitch into the top of each, th each one of these three double crochets that we just made. So we could finish off this edge. There's a slip number one, slip number two, and slip number three. We're lined up with our chain space so we can make our very last square. One, two, three, four, five chains, three double crochet in the five chain space. And here's our chain five space. Slip stitch into the chain that's right, or the stitch right next to it. Spin our work and now we're going to finish off this little edge. two, and three slip stitches, just like all the other ones. And then you finish off. Really simple, but it's so nice and lacy and airy. And you can still see all of our squares, just like anything else. You can still see the squares, just like here. But the chain five spaces are so much bigger that it makes it kind of lacy be great for a summertime throw, be great for a tiny shawl or anything that you want to use in the summer. You just want to make some bright fun colors of a scarf or anything. 
like that it would be great because it's not going to be too heavy and dense and it won't be as warm because of all the open spots. But there's version number four of the five ways that I know how to go about using a crochet corner to corner or a C to C. It's version number four. I have one left and that will be when we get into our graph gans. So thank you for stopping by. Thanks for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to my channel and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.